Hi everybody! Today we're going to be looking at how to do a collagraph involving texture. So far we've looked at many different kinds of texture. We've even looked at texture from nature and we've experimented with making our own texture and trying to find things around our house we can use to make texture. You know how the song goes. Or that's texture. You got to experiment with printmaking using styrofoam and look at the art of Steve Jenkins who was inspired by insects where you've learned about making art with textured papers and the different parts of insects. In your sketchbook, you're going to use some reference images and try drawing a couple real insects. We've already learned about the parts of them. Once you've drawn a couple of real insects, you can also invent your own. See if you would want an abdomen, how many legs, how many wings. Maybe you can combine and use creativity. Once you've decided, you're going to get a piece of cardboard and write your information on the back of it. Then you're going to draw your insect on the cardboard. For this one, I rotated the square so now my insect is going across in a diamond shape. I've traced my drawing in marker just so it's easier to see. I've left a little bit of space around it but not too much. I've collected some materials that can add texture later but first I'm going to cut some thin cardboard to fill in just my insect. I'm kind of comparing the cardboard with my drawing to have a good fit. I can use the scraps of cardboard to fill in the different areas. If you need two shapes that are the same size, cut one out, then put it on top of your cardboard and just trim another one. That way you don't have to recut it from scratch. Now that I have most of it filled in with the thin layer of cardboard, I'm gonna put some texture pieces on top of that. So now I'm up to two layers, the thin cardboard, and now it's gonna be my textured items that go on top. After I have a few pieces, I'm going to start to glue it down. I try to cover evenly over the entire piece that I'm gluing down, but not so much that it starts to drip everywhere. I see some spaces that still need to be filled in. So again, I'm going to use some of the scraps and fill in those little spaces. Now I'm going to start to add more texture. These are some recycled boxes from the lunch that I've received. I think this texture would be great for the body and these stripes will be great for the bee's abdomen. I use some cut popsicle sticks for the legs, some leftover styrofoam from my printing for the head, pipe cleaners for the antenna, and even some other buttons for the eyes and textured cardboard for other parts of the body. Once everything dries, I'll be ready to print. Before I print, I'm going to write my name, class, and seat number on the back of my paper. Now I'm going to add paint to my texture plate. You're gonna notice that some parts are higher than the others. That's great. Anything that has the texture and is higher is what's gonna show up in your print. If it's too many layers, it might be tricky. So we're sticking to about two layers of texture on our project. Now you can actually blend the paint together. I'm focusing on picking up the texture. I'm not trying to paint every single deep detail. I'm not going in between the lines. I'm trying to cover the texture of the wings, the face, the antenna. And you're gonna notice that I'm actually gonna paint the background a little bit. You're gonna notice everything we paint is gonna show up. If there's no paint on it, it's not gonna show up. Now it's time to print. I'm gonna take my paper and make sure I can see my name facing me. I'm gonna rub the texture plate, holding my paper with one hand and rubbing with the other. Then I might switch hands. And you're gonna notice you're gonna to start to see the things. A little bit of that texture shows up when you're rubbing it. That's a good thing. Sometimes you can peek to make sure you got everything printed and then there you go. Your very own collagraph print. I hope you enjoyed exploring textures, insects, and the art of Steve Jenkins in making your creation. I look forward to seeing your very own collagraph print. Have fun!